on behalf of the University of Chinese Medicine, European alumni, I would like to welcome everyone to attend the International Chinese Medicine Conference, Manchester 2016. I would like to express my sincere thanks to all the speakers for spending your time and energy. Some of you are flying from America, Austria, Russia, Switzerland, Netherlands, Portugal, Belgium, and here in the UK. We really appreciate it for all your support and hard work. Today's main topic is TCM and cancer. Nowadays, cancer is one of the most life-threatening diseases. Apart from surgery, radiotherapy, and uh, chemotherapy treatment, we strongly believe that TCM can support and uh, manage cancer treatment well. TCM can fight cancer cells well at the early stage. At the middle stage and the late stage of the cancer, TCM can help patients to relieve pain and other discomfortable, uncomfortable symptoms, not only improving the patient's quality of the life, but also prolonging life. I hope today's conference can provide an opportunity for all of us to share our knowledge and experiences, to understand the cancer and its treatment in more details and help to treat our patient, cancer patient in the clinic better. I hope you all have an enjoyable day here. Thank you very much. Hello everyone. Me and uh, Professor Li Jingzhao will chair the first session of today's conference. Professor Li Qingzhao is the council member and the registrar of the Association of Traditional Chinese Medicine and Acupuncture UK, ATCM, and the president of Hulan University of Chinese Medicine, UK Anuna Association. He, she is also the director of Zhongjing TCM UK. Thank you for Professor Wang's introduction. Um, so, good morning, dear friends and colleagues. Um, I'm very honored to be here to chair uh, this session with uh, Professor Wang. Uh, he is the acupuncture course director at the College of uh, Naturopathic Medicine UK and owes his own TJ acupuncture clinic in London. So, he is a council member and the chair of the academic of uh, ATCM and also he's the general secretary of Nanjing University of uh, Chinese Medicine Europe Alumni uh, Association. <coughs> Firstly, I really wanted to uh, thank to Professor uh, Shulan Tang to uh, invite me uh, to be the chair for this session. And I'm <coughs> very, very honored to have this opportunity to uh, introduce Dr. Uh, Red Jin Zhao from uh, USA. So he's the, uh, like the, my fellow alumni of uh, Henan University of Chinese Medicine. So he's like my brother. However, he went to, the, he went to university, Beijing University of TCM for his master and PhD study with one of the most <coughs> reputable professors. Liu Du Zhou. Um, so he's been practicing in the USA for over 25 years. Uh, so he's got lo <coughs> loads of experience. Uh, so he has achieved astonishing, uh, successful, um, good outcome uh, with his clinical uh, patients, especially in integrative cancer research and treatment. So he treats 60 to 70 patients each day, which I don't really know how he managed. <laughs> so, uh, of course, because this uh, uh, experience, so he developed some really very unique acupoint selection and the herbal medicine selection, 
uh, to and the needling techniques uh, to treat cancer with greatly improved uh, clinical outcome. So I can't wait to find out more detailed information of, about this. I'm sure you probably want it as well. So now let's very welcome to our guest speaker, Dr. Ranjin Zhao. His topic is who, sorry, wake up the shed to treat cancer. Thank you. Good morning. Actually, uh, I'm so happy to be here. So many of my many old friends, also many, many new, new friends. So, uh, really grateful for my friend, Dr. Shu Lan Tang. Over 32 years, since we were 20 years old, uh, in the Beijing University <laughs> study, <laughs> the time goes too fast. So with her encouragement and her dedication to encourage me and my wife to have the first, we call them the Virgin Journey to Europe, to England. So I'm very happy to be here. So uh, also I think, so the member of the Nanjing University the Alumni Association and the leader in the community of Chinese medicine in UK, very, very smart. Why they choose the cancer as a, as a major sense, as a major project for this conference? The reason is cancer will be, is now already a very challenging, and it will be remain a many challenge for healthcare in the future human being. So that's why for us to research, to learn or equip that as well over the cancer knowledge, oncology knowledge, I think it's very necessary and that it's great. So first time I really involved with the cancer care when I was second year in medical school. So my hometown is in Henan province, like Li Qin's, you know, that, that area, <laughs> Professor Li There's a lot of esophageal cancer. Some food that we eat is not right, in especially in the Yixian country. So when, when I was two, two years, uh, second year in medical school, I actually started treating cancer patients. How do we treat? Copy the medical book. You look like an eager, just a thing as a blood state stagnation, stagnation or flame build up. So call with the formula to treat. Because in that area is remote, not remote, it's a rural area. They don't have too much good practitioners. So really the first thing I saw is a, actually not so much cancer, is a uterus cervical cancer patients. So very, you know, I saw this is good. So aggressive. In less than one year, the patient actually died after radiation died. So from then on, I said, okay, that's not really, that's a really big, big disease. So uh, now we're back to our major topic. I call my therapy is Shen Xiang therapy. Shen Xiang therapy is the, the full, full name is Shen Xiang Wen Tong therapy. Shen means mind, the spirit. Xiang is a fragrancy, aromatic. We know that aromatic herbs can do what? Open the or orifices to wake up the Shen. The wind, wind is warm, tongue is open to any block, the blockage, obstruction. So this survey, I mentioned the survey, my colleague made me laugh, it's a, yeah, a new survey. What you can do with the cancer patients. But the, what I name it almost almost like a revolutionary therapy. If you can follow follow my what I suggestion, the patient may be not be cured. So the whole question is can you cure the cancer patient? I said may not. But the, the thing is the patient may not die. That's why I have so many patients. They follow me so many years. As long as they survive, they follow you forever forever. So that's why Today, I want to introduce what the really theoretical foundation or background of this therapy. And how do we perform this therapy in the clinical practice? And what do you really could use it in your daily, daily practice? So what I think, so many years, I, almost how many years, 32, 33 years we deal with cancer. The cancer actually, we always think that's a disease. We want to kill them. It's different. We change our thought. The cancer is a 
I think as a terminator program, as an infection disease or accident or trauma, we, we control well, people not die. Not die that early or easier. But then since we have life, we have, we have birth, there will be a death. So cancer actually is a revolutionary product, which is embedded <laughs> in our life. So almost everybody has cancer genes. But can gene express or not, depending on the environment, we call it micro environment or macro environment. So that's why this is a special program to embody better in our body. So when this terminal program start, that's depending on how we treat our body. So we so from a normal cell to be a cancer cell. That's very difficult. It's not that easy. Because our body's immune defense system is very strong. Also our uh, uh, there are so many, you know, like transcript factors, later you guys know, a defensive factor to block the cancer to growth. A cancer can be growth. Our way name that is immune system, be treated, be treat your body. <coughs> give your body, the, give the cancer chance. They are not only not fight with cancer, <coughs> actually it's a support cancer. To open a big, big road, big gate for cancer growth or support the cancers. So, uh, like the Dr. Tom just mentioned, so since the modern science advanced so much, so with chemo radiation and so many new drugs targeting, including immune therapy, if our Chinese medicine still can play a big role or not, yes, we do. So, uh, like I mentioned here, <coughs> So sometimes I want to introduce what the developed in America we used. So like a regular, uh, this is in Chinese, if you don't know my English, I think Chinese. <laughs> so routine surgery chemo radiation actually also changed. Why? Because the surgery technique improved so much. Like a robotic we used in American, Da Vinci's, very well for breast cancer, and for many other uterine cancers. It's beautiful. But with the hormonal therapy for women's cancer, breast cancer, ovary cancer, truly make a great improvement. Also for the avasti, anti-angiosis, to stop the tumor vascular growth. Also very, very improved. But for the targeting therapy, we, we mentioned many new drugs every year, to every month, the Americans <coughs> have a new one came out. For the radiation therapy, Especially in, uh, in uh, proton radiation, I mentioned proton radiation is so good, it's so less side effect. For prostate cancer, I observed that maybe 30 patients have no one have a side effect, all cured. It's unbelievable, it's better than radioactive seed. Also, the high flu, high flu FDA is not approved yet in America. High flu is a, also no side effect, it's a new ultrasound therapy, high dense, focus, the high dense, the intensity, focus, the ultrasound therapy. Also, cryoscopic surgery, so I see cold therapy. For prostate, excellent. So for the immunotherapy, sure, we know that's a make up great improvement for melanoma, late stage melanoma. But all this advanced doesn't mean they can cure cancer completely or eradicate cancer completely. There are the one things. <coughs> there are the one things they cannot do much. Like sure, the nauseous, GI discomfort, or bone marrow inhibition. This kind of medicine to do to do help. If I like really like red blood cell low, we have procreate. We have white blood cell. They have new last new 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 gene. But when once that one symptoms, the patient is a sick feeling. No medicine help. Only we can help. We do acupuncture and the herbal medicine help. So that's why they lift. They lift so much, so much space for us, so much rooms for us to play a big role for Chinese medicine. So that's why we have necessary to do it, to learn the, how to treat cancer. Uh, in American, I summarize uh, this group patients what I deal with. The first group, 
<laughs> as the patient was just diagnosed with cancer. Now because the information, uh, public information is so available, many patients directly came to me. They are panicked, they're worried. They don't know where which way to go. So they come to me. So I'll guide them how to choose it. Routinely, I guide them to do surgery as soon as possible, in the early stage. Like before they, before they move or spread, that's always the first choice. So what my philosophy is, we remove the evil quickly as possible. We don't need the immune system to, against the endless fighting. Uh, second group, patient diagnosed with uh, cancers, but they are so stubborn. I don't know in England or Europe how they do. I have quite many patients, after diagnosing, refused all the routine treatment. No chemo, no surgery, no radiation. This group of patients are really a challenge for us. <laughs> because the legal issues, I always suggest that do surgery, do your routine, then see me. But many of them, they refused. After two, three times, they thought, if you don't treat me, I'll die. So they always sign some contract with me. They thought, you do what you can. I accept it. So then I treat them. That's a challenge. But they, you know, luckily many, they survived. Perfect. So another group, the third group, is a, as an oncologist directly sent to me. When the chemo radiation side effect too much, they directly to looking for alternative ways. Also the number group is a, a four, is the last stage. Pain has no really, really chance. They come to so for like a palliation treatment. <coughs> uh, in America, the hospice therapy is very, very, how to say, already well established. As soon as the patient no refuse, no chemo, no further treatment, they put on hospice. What means hospice? That patient died peacefully. What they use is a morphine. But many people have morphine not good. They, they don't like it. They, they are willing, they know they are dying, but they still want to look for treatment. So that's quite a lot of dra drama came from there. I have one patient, the over cancer patient, the C125 is a cancer marker, up to 7,000. The husband, the black and wife, two days, said, don't know, it's just last stage. We don't wish her to have too much pain. So I give her treatment. But they said maybe just two weeks, three weeks. The patient, after seven months, the patient still hangs there very well. So then the husband was very mad with me. He said, don't know, what's going on? I said, I said, do you want to kill your wife or what? <laughs> he said, no, that's not the point, not the case. I want to see my I, I already prepared, I love her much, I prepared that she's dying. <laughs> but what happened is she's still alive. <laughs> so eventually the lady survived another three years. So that uh, just uh, use my later therapy, I tell you. The last group, the fifth group, just as in our daily practice, I already encourage my student or colleague to knew some you know, to uh, get some uh, knowledge of the Western you know, modern science. For the diagnosis, I diagnosed many patients in the early stage cancers. Like a, a, a patient, you know, the tennis body walking my I said, oh, no, I seem to drag my, pull my tendons, walking not so good. I said, okay, let me check. Do a very simple, do a neurological test. Do let him walk, if he can walk straight or balance. He cannot balance him well. I said, that's not the not muscle, muscle spring. Do a brain MI a big brain tumor, glioblastoma. But she, he survived because found it very early. So that's why this, I have a quick, uh, quick group, like over cancer patients. For, for many of our lady colleagues uh, knew that. The ankle edema, when you check patients, ankle edema, check all the check feet first to see if the artery is there or not. And so make sure there are no artery claudication. Make sure there are no deep vein thrombosis. So if the deep vein thrombosis or like edema without reason, that means from the pelvic, right? So that for it could be a pro, you know, ovary cancers. I found many ovary cancers in the early stage just because it's routine check. Just the you know, lymph node enlarged or not, ankle edema or not. So that's why this group patient I find a lot. So the following, before I Started my uh, new therapy theory. I want to you get a little bit of basic knowledge for the immune system. We always say we boost the immune system. 
actually, I don't like it. Why museum is so complicated? <laughs> no, the, look like uh, our our society, the security, security force for our country. They have a different military, right? Arms, armies, navies, uh, air force, uh, for local police, sheriff, or many. In museum actually like that. It's a very complicated. So routinely, I name the immune system, if immune system hyperactivity, hyperactivity, that's an allergy condition. You look like a, look like a watchdog. You provoke too much, they bite you. <laughs> when the wind is blowing, they bite. When your friend visits, they bite, drive, drive you crazy. That's immune system hyperactivity. If your immune system weak, you, all, you don't bite anybody. That's why for many patients, they tell you, five years I have never had a cold, never have a, a flu or virus. This patient is high risk for cancers. Many cancer patients even come to me and say, but how come you explain? How could you explain? I have no, 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 no cold or flu, five years. Then with the lung cancer. And because you miss a death, abandon you. That's why you, can, you have cancer in no cold. So that's why immune system is very complicated. If you immune system blind, what do you mean blind? They cannot recognize your own tissues. That's an autoimmune disease. Depending on which dog where they bite. You bite your curtain, you have dry eyes, sugarings. If you bite your intestine, you can have Crohn's. If you bite your joint, the rheumatoid arthritis. All different as it means immune system blind. Cancer is immune system actually betrays you. In the early stage or in the before the early stage, immune system actually don't kill you anymore. Or like we know the T cell give up. Or your immune system actually to support the cancers, support the evils. That's the way cancer starts. And the more and more research confirms that. Later I will show you especially the logo immune system looks like a lung cancer. In the logo uh, macrophage, these white blood cells. I call them the local sheriffs already betrayed the people, betrayed the government to support the mafia, support the bad guys. <laughs> That's where the cancer originally started from. In that stage, later I'll answer, can you boost the immune system? No, you cannot. If you boost the immune system, you equally to give the weapon. You send more, more food, more sacrifice to the cancers. That's not good. So here we review a little bit in our traditional, in Chinese medicine, how we deal with cancers. So in the traditional, we think, because there's a mass, it's a mucus, it's a lump, we should hear the soft, soft the hardness, and use the salty medicines to disperse the congestion, lumps. So that's why the first group of medicines are listening here. The second thing is to clear the heat and detoxification. So what do we think? Cancer is a toxic. Too much toxic to build up. Because cancer either gene mutation or either blocks the circulations. The third is regular energy and the part blocks the stagnation, or liver chi stagnation to release the congestion. That's a routine, right? The fourth, remove the blood stasis, invigorating blood. The fifth, it's a strength of vital energy and the consolidate the uh, root foundation. That's what we said, the Fu Zhen, Gu Ben, tonics. For the sure, in the later stages. So, above the five categories, we make a formula to treat the cancers. So I don't think we have confidence enough. I said, let us think about it. How could we make a formula to treat the cancer confidently? No. We can, right? So that's why routinely our treatment really not works that well. If it works well, we don't need the chemo radiations. But the trouble is it really not to work that well. So that's why we need a new therapies. So originally, we go little view the history of the treatment. Uh, that's uh, the first in the Neijing, we think a lump or tumor, where they call originally from actually from the cold. Originally these things the cold overpress, they suppress the mucus in uh, about you know around the intestines, 
that they make a mess. The cold block that, and the mucus, that's the first two pathogenic factors. And uh, then the late stage is the flame and the blastasis. They congeal together to be a bigger lump. Since they are mucus, or since they also have the liquid properties, this still can spread. When they build up more, they spread. Metastasis. That's very logically beautiful. But the thing is, uh, the trouble is that we pay too much attention to that. Look like we pay too much attention to use chemo radiations. We all after the tumor, we not uh, take care enough for what really happened. So very seldom to people to treat the cold, because we forget. That's why this following therapy, our you know, Shenxiang therapy, is a little warm medicine. Warm medicine, but warm medicine can good for the flag or mucus. It can also dispel the cold away. So now, we're back to the Shenxiang therapy, so the foundation. The, the theory foundation, I don't want to uh, discuss, discuss this too much, because Everybody know that. What I'll focus on that, how do we really do it? So this therapy have a strong background, theoretically. We know heart is a emperor of the, all the organs, right? Heart is safe, strong. All the 12 organs will be peaceful. So we said Xin Zhu Chang Sen, heart house mind, and is the emperor. If the smart emperor, everything will be perfect. Also heart dominates the blood. Uh, heart, uh, here as a heart cancer. That's actually drag me to think why the heart related to cancer. Uh, Fifteen years ago, I saw one patient with a heart cancer. It's a very rare thing. The cardiomyosarcoma. When the patient was, I remember so clearly, a very handsome Caucasian, 40 years old, uh, huge white, he passed away. They came to me the uh, second time, they peeled the heart wall. I just said, uh, not seriously, but not a joke. I said, oh my god, you had a heart broken. <coughs> he, it's not really serious, but he was shocked. He said, no, no, how do you know I have a broken heart? Heart broken. Then he told me the history, how he had a heart cancer. His wife walked away for another man, with a nine years old, uh, lived with him with a nine years old boy. It was beautiful boy. And it uh, really made me puzzle. Uh, He's so sad. Maybe it's, it's just uh, the reason is I saw it, this woman later. Very average, almost ugly woman. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I said, I said for this, it was that I was to be heartbroken. He said, it's so disgraceful. <laughs> so Look, that's a developed heart cancer. Later, I did kind of save him. Three years later, he, he passed away. Uh, that's one group. Another group is uh, many patients, this is for really to everybody. If you have a mitral valve prolapse or precuspid uh, valve, the RJ valve, San Jia valve, Guan Bu Bu it's a mitral valve prolapse patients, high risk for cancer. So don't worry, if you pay attention, you don't. If you knew that, people with atrial fibrillations, with PVC, PAC, or congestive heart failure, and this group patients really have a high risk for cancer. That's what I observed. So look, a broken heart, physiological heart weakness, and the last stage cancer patients, I take care of many. When they in the deathbed, <coughs> sometimes you cannot use anything because of friendship, because of you know, the doctor responsibility. I just watch them every week. Before they die, I drive to their home to watch. Before they died, I, I don't know if you have experience. After they use morphine, patient low, not much consciousness, their heart, the, the heat, the warmness gradually subside. What left, the heat, the heat, you feel the warmness. Even here, warm, the people are still alive. Till they are cold, you can either feel the legs swollen, edema, cold. That's what with the heart, young chi deficiency, water overtaking. Then the heart, they're here. The patient still not die. <coughs> Till you feel the heart really in the chest, then you know, oh, tonight the patient will die. So I'm waiting them to sit down to see the blood. So the heart, related to the cancer genesis, cancer genesis can also uh, definitely control our life. That's why I blame 
heart is a really the source of the cancers. So that's why we mentioned uh, here, same thing. Because heart holds the mind, mind control our immune system. There's a later Dr. Xu will also present this. That's perfect. We never discussed that. I saw his topic with a, also Dr. Uh, also Professor Xie, the chief master Xie, when we just practiced before the lecture. I really, really promote that. What they do to treat your shame? The shame control the immune system very well. So that's why only you have a strong heart, you could have a, a avoid cancer. Same, same thing in Nanjing, we know all the zhu tong yang chuang jie shu yi xin, so all the pain, all the ulceration or itching, kabanko, boils, sure, including lumps, belong to heart. Right? The, from the modern science, this, this professor is a, my university professor, University of South Florida. He found a cardiac peptide. Uh, I list many information for you guys. The cardiac heart is not just a pump. It's a specially excreting organ, excretory. Make a six different uh, protein, your peptide. This cardiac peptide, four of the six are strong cancer drugs, and are cancers. So when we inject in, to the like uh, pancreas cancer regions, uh, models, pancreas subside for lung cancer, for breast cancer, it works. When they translate the name with the Wesley Chinese, I read a you know, like a wishing story. So I track him. I know he's beyond my university. He's retired. It's a Dr. David Wesley. Now his son carry his carry following food to continue this project. Because it depends on many things. Uh, if you want to get a cardiac peptide, you must uh, get it from them. So that's why, uh, at least all the publications, uh, you guys you guys will, you will get this uh, PVT, okay? Don't worry, that's, so we go. To, so many cardiac peptides are strong anti cancers. You can see if you have a strong heart, your heart actually makes that to kill all the cancer cells in your circulatory system. So uh, here I mentioned the, the neural, the mind, and the nerves, and the tumor, these relations, and the immune system. So uh, that's all the list of the publications. So we knew that we don't need to repeat too much. Here I have a little relaxation graphic. So our sympathetic nerves and the parasympathetic nerves control the cancers, especially for prostate cancers. That's probably in the science magazine. You can see our nervousness related to the prostate cancers. <coughs> Too stress is not good for them. So here, because now we knew the immune system in our nervous system, so our question is, do we want to boost the immune system in the beginning? Definitely not. <coughs> Most of the immune boost the immune system medicine belongs to warm, hot medicine, sweet. So that's why we don't want to use sweet like sugar. Sugar is not just a supporting cancer. Cancer without sugar can feed the cancer. Actually, it's not. Sugar boosts your immune system too much. You're active. Let your immune system go to fight. Go to fight. Look like what? Look like you, a small person go to fight a big giant. You encourage him to fight with that? Wrong strategy. Basically, let him quickly run away. You, if you go to battlefield, you'll be killed. So that's why we don't. We don't want to boost the immune system too much. Okay? But for the immunotherapy, it's different. Immunotherapy is a try to make the immune system smart, to take a protein away, to break the protein away from the immune system, to let the immune system to fight. So that's why many times immune system overacting or silly acting is kill the people. Many infections we know, they died is not because bacteria too strong. Not really bacteria like uh, toxicity is related to the immune system overactive, overactive or silly activity. So uh, that's why immune system is appear to be a, a very complex system. What we need to do is to wake them up. We cannot just boost them. That's where is a that's really match our Chinese medicine. That's why we need the differentiation. If the patient don't show up any weakness, no chi deficiency, 
Don't give them tonic, right? Should not give ginseng or astragalus. So uh, here also they are following the same topic. Yeah. Is the immune system break down first or cancer start first? Who will it contribute the most? So sometimes they say that cancer cell make the immune system weak, right? Actually, if you think, create the immune system open the gate for cancer cells to be, to, to allow them to do it. So, uh, especially, especially now we, we research more of this uh, modern science, the macrophage cells, they just uh, actually did uh, many trouble. They have a cancer metastasis. They have a cancer to avoid the chemotherapy to attack. This is our own immune system. This is why we knew our immune system is definitely betrayed. Here I want to mention the exosome. Exosome is that we found many cancers, especially lung cancer, breast cancer. They make some special both particles. This particle carry a little bit of RNA, message RNAs. This signal can transfer much earlier than the cancer cell moving. So cancer metastasis related to this exosome. That's why cancer may be contagious. That's why when you deal with cancer patients, really watch yourself. This exosome is a very small vehicle, small particles. They carry a strong cancer, cancer signals. And I treated two patients, two groups. The husband died of go bio duct cancer. It's non-virus related. They have no gene related. That's the husband and wife. I still treat the wife. Husband died a few years ago. Wife have exactly the same pathologically, identical same disease. That's why that, that's why we mentioned that you know, who treat the cancer too much, so you have you know like cancer valleys, often can have cancer. In the beginning we don't know the puzzle. I think that's a main contributor. But don't need to be scared. This uh, continues not like a bacterial virus that much. That's possible. So here is another graphic. We find that uh, look like a like a mucus plus with a fire. The tumor cells with the uh, the macrophage. We call the tumor associated macrophage. When they bio together, they get more power to metastasis. So from this from this uh, the t t topic we know. There is a, so use Chinese medicine. We learn Chinese medicine actually we learn a think, learn a thought, how to use our brains. That's why modern science not only uh, mess up, actually give us many new ideas, help us to deal with that. So uh, the only thing is what I mean is to record the immune system. We call them, wake them up. So if our own military betrayed us, not at all. If they all betrayed us, we will die. Partially branch, we need to either wake them up or either kill them. That's why more the recent chemo or radiation in the very beginning when the evil is too much, is very properly. But don't overdose it. You try to wake them up. If not, wake up or kill them. Then reboot. So another is glutamine. It's a glutamine is from the MSG. I want to share is that we maybe met many strong people die of cancer, diagnosed with later stage cancer. You, everybody maybe have this experience. Right? This guy is so strong. Then later stage, stage four, either lung cancer, either breast cancer. Or, why? Most of all the men, for women, very very, uh, it's incident very less. Strong men always because they have a double sensory, they have glutamine deficiency. I always ask these strong guys. I said, for years no no sickness. Also, they can eat anything. They sick, they don't feel sick. I'll give them a little bit of glutamine capsules. Or I recommend, recommend them eat more Chinese food, MSG. For that group patient, MSG is good for them. MSG will be a glutamine. But when people are very sensitive, don't do that. They already have a special sensory nerve system. Here is a beautiful graphic. With a cancer, they have their own life. Oh, they are very smart. So when they developed, look like group mafia. As long as they developed, their, their family and family can kill each other or develop a different way. Also during chemotherapy things, you kill another group, that's a heterogeneity. When you read maybe the heterogeneity, does they have an all different group? Most of the tumor they develop not one single cells, always mix up. 
So that's why we are in lab. We try to uh, implant a new one group of cancer cells. Difficult. Why? The, the one mafia, one group mafia, easy to be cleaned up by by a policeman, right? Many we cannot. They depend on each other. They mess up. That's why that's a heterogeneous state. So another uh, supporting theory, supporting is blood, heart, donning blood, right? So uh, very interesting. We find it uh, as in the New England Journal of Medicine, there's an uh, unimproved venous thrombolism to a blood clotting. The people have no reason to have blood clotting. Just suddenly they have uh, like a DVT, deep vein thrombosis. What happened? This group of people, we find 10% uh, of them later, one year later or two years later, develop cancer. So that's why the blood stasis, be, be careful. Exercise is very good. Keep your blood thin, circulating well. You can see 60% of them have occur, you know, occurred in cancers. That's a very scary high dosage. That's why that's also related to the heart. Okay? So another we know the American uh, scientist uh, the avastin, the tumor angiosis, the avastin and the coumadin. We always use coumadin. In his kind of same. Coumadin is a uh, anti-blood vessel, you know, uh, coagulations make blood very thin. During chemotherapy, a lot of lot of thrombosis formed. We always use avastin. It interferes the circulations. With this group of people, they truly coumadin can help them. So that means that for circulations. Also really too hot. Okay. Uh, another uh, supporting is uh, what we use uh, circulation medicine to invigorate the blood circulation herbs, like leech, shui zhi, ma huang, danshen. This group of herbs is very useful for in the stage, the late stage cancer patients. There's many publications if you search in the PubMed. You can see many research done on that. It's a leachy contained uh, rooting, very good for cancer. That's also kind of associated with the circulations, associated with the heart. So too much, <laughs> too much cholesterol not not good for cancer. Cholesterol or triglyceride, we can associate with the mucus, right? We find that too much cholesterol can contribute to tumor growth. You can see that when you have, have potential risk for breast cancer, ovary cancers, especially related to hormonal cancer, keep <laughs> away your the fat, make your body slim, hungry. So that's a that's how I see the cancer. They can metastasize to everywhere. You can see the cancer like from the lungs, it can go to here. So where is the weakness? That's a beautiful graphic, just uh, for fun. Okay, uh, another uh, new concept is a flag. We focus, you know, genes. Gene is just a, a mode. Uh, have to have some power people to use that, right? To hold it. It's a, we call it microenvironment, a tumor microenvironment, or tumor matrix. It's a you know, extracellular matrix. The aim, that's exactly I use as a flag. The flag, I think, is still related to cancers. Uh, sure, in the matrix, uh, um, cellular, extra, cellular matrix, there's so many uh, cellular signal pass, pathway, pathway. We don't use too much here. But uh, when the mucus combine with other evils, you know, there's a qi flame. It can be wind flame, heat flame, fire flame, cold flame. Like the qi flame, most uh, your damp flame, it can be the early stage. When it comes out with a fire flame, the flame can be very aggressive, like brain cancer, glioblastoma, can be pancreatic cancers, can be a cold flame or with bone cancer, prostate cancer, depending on the evil where the pathogenic pack, you know, pathogenic factor, their properties. So that's why we fire flame. I, I use the analogy. It looks like a macrophage. Mix up with cancer cells. <coughs> flame with fire. Fire flame is the worst piece in our cancer. So, uh, in the, for the many studies, you can affect extracellular matrix 
那个 curcumin， mean, curcumin mean 是鱼精 ，or family 是姜姜黄 ，this is a category anti-inflammatory in our herbal pharmacy. That's really help. Reversal, open. Reversal is not so good. Cisal, this is okay. Dancing good. That's why I fix this. That's the cancer. The acupuncture can really help to change this mucus. So I mentioned some pictures how ugly this, right? Like mucus, like a big lump flames. So. So that's why cancer is not just a disease, it's a project, right? It's a revolutionary product. If we want to cure them, we need to really wake up our heart, wake up our immune system. It's a terminator. Eventually, we cannot, for older, like 90 years old, 100, that's okay. So, but for a doctor, we are a commander, right? We are commanding these whole battles. We have to choose the right way to do it. So to First, to have to make the central government know what to do. Central government what is our brain. So that's why Shen is the first to treat the Shen. And also open the, all the orifices, to open the, all the traffic. If we can deliver our military to where we want, we can clean up most of the evil easily, right? But at the same time, we will guarantee, if like a country run a government, we need all our Necessary department that works well. That means guarantee all our five organs, the eight organs, like the tongue, organ, fu, intestines, qi, xue, blood, bone, bone marrow, tendon, and pulse. So this eight department, if this eight department works well, the life will continue. That's what they connect with later the treatment, conclusion point, ba hui xue. So uh, basically, what do I do in the treatment? If we can a surgery available, we do surgery. If if not, lead up the chemo very strictly. I control it. Tell patients to control it. Over six, stop for a while. No matter what, let the patient rest. So also, I give them make sure they don't use the sugar, refined sugar. Get the more probiotic. Probiotic bacterial flora balance is a good support for immune system. Also, in autophagy, I use the Qing also, Artemisia, because we cannot use the chloride, you know, quinine, chloride quinine is for that. But Qing also, here's the Artemisia, Qing also. And I like to use, in the beginning, anti-inflammatories, which look like steroid-like herbs, and take care of the heart. Here we quickly go through that. There's an older, older herbal traditional formula for anti-cancers. So here's the red one, always the aromatic herbs. Shi Xiang, musk. Ru Xiang, mu yao, always the resin or tree, very fragrancy. Shi Xiang, so in the eight formulas, traditional eight formulas, the six all have this strong musk, aromatic herbs. That's the all famous one, which confirm it work for cancers. So that's why now we said, to make sure to treat the mind clearly, make a mind, immune with the mind, the heart, mind. And uh, to wake up heart, shen, mind, and the immune systems. Use the uh, aromatic herbs and the flow of, you know, aromatic to transform damp herbs together. Such as all these herbs are laced, shi xiang, an xi xiang, long nao xiang, all these. It's uh, 13 fragrance herbs. In my hometown, which you maybe know, there's a spicy, we name it Shi San Xiang, 13 fragrant herbs together. When you cook the herb, cook your food. That's what makes your, all your energy pump up, open up. That's really good for cancer. I can be the really good, good appetizer. So, the, so that's sure, we said our differentiation. Now the really treatment is a warm up the heart. Warm up the formulas. That's my Shanghai Lui, back to my Shanghai Lui. It's a Gui Zi Gan Zao Tang, Si Ni Tang, Tung Ma Si Ni Tang. This herb is actually a mixture of patent, like a capsules, available. Late sleep, cancer is always free of cold. Kidney Yang Qi deficiency, the warm Yang Qi. If you have heart issues, 
you better use with Gamma every day as a T. Like I mentioned, the heart issues can reduce our risk. So for the, uh, we also can combine with the mucus, transform mucus medicine. Uh, this is one herb I developed many years. The story you can read in the Googles. We don't need the time. We have no time. We publish many articles it's in the idea of cell biology. So being drilling can make an interferon gamma high in your body. So I give them like for preventive, for after remissions, the capsule for <coughs> we use for that uh, to make your body produce a lot of interferon. This look like I put a torpedo in your bloodstream. If cancer circulate cancer want to move away, the biting will kill them. That's for preventive metastasis. That's sure they have uh, uh, many you know, uh, aromatic herbs. So for the acupuncture treatment, that's what I actually I want to spend two minutes. For Shen treatment, I list all the Shen herbs, Shen formulas. Eleven. I always use the Shen Men, use Bai Hui or Si Shen Qi. <coughs> Even for other cases, I think Shen dominate everything. If I treat them, I want a signal in, right? I said, okay, you under your leadership, you too see that you make the body sick. I bear your mind for 25 minutes, 30 minutes. So you send the signal in to calm down, wake them up. That's what the Shen. And like I mentioned, to want to guarantee eight major important department, the government department work, you need to use a Bahui Shen. Like breast cancer, easy go to easy go to the bone. Then you want you need to treat the bone. At GP39, also the Da Zhu, Wu Hui Da Zhu, UV17, you're purposely treated. So no matter what time, you know, you know that you have a risk. If it's easy to go to the Qi, what do you do? You go to the Qi point, it's a Tai Yuan. So use the confusion point. More important is that some of my students bring patient back and say, no, no, use your formula, it didn't work. I said, let me do it, I do it, it work. How do you do it? Put in the book. Type in, then it work. You didn't give the signal in. You at least move something. Let the point know. Let it know. So that's why I require my students. At least you know three signals give the body. One is a tonic, twist the clockwise. One is reducing, counterclockwise. One is neutral. At least you need to know what you give the signal to. So you do this. You need a signal. Okay. So for the case studies. I mentioned a few already, so we don't need uh, many case studies. The patient, like now Hodgkin lymphoma, uh, here I did have uh, many public uh, the interview. This people that at stage four, I should be a hospice. I'm doing better than anyone else. 13 years therapy. Now Hodgkin lymphoma, no chemo, nothing. Never reach a remain cured, still alive or not. That's uh, what they've been doing, the stories. So generally, uh, some Good. Uh, one minute over. So uh, generally, we need to take your shen better. Okay? So make our shen to not let the heart broken. If you're broken heart, so many parents lost children. This group developed so many. These people have a lot of cancer cases. The shen shang jiao, too much negative signal to your immune system. The immune system get a negative signal, think you don't want to live. If a loyal bodyguard, what they do? They kill the host as fast as possible. Why they don't want them to suffer. Mm -hmm. So that's why always give your body immune a happy thought. Don't let your, let, your, let your heart sink, okay? Don't let your heart sink. Uh, then use an open, don't let a suicidal uh, program start, the terminator start. So then what do we treat? The, the pathology is yang qi. Heart yang qi or yang qi blockage, mucus start, fill form, then you can attack to the uh, really to the affect the blood, then you can widen around everywhere, then they disturb the neighbors, then they kill our country. You know, so that's why strength the heart, mind, to wake up our immune system, open all the orifices, which means warm yang, transform flame, and the Clear up the uh, residues, no matter where you escaped, kill them. And uh, that's why I use the Ba Hui Xuan. So the 
last reminding is, remember, we have your mind. We have the immune system. Okay? Remember this, this, this is a special therapy. And uh, in Chinese medicine, we say that it's uh, your warm your heart, xin yang, tonify your xin yin, heart of yin, and uh, lift your heart energy, and uh, move your heart blood. Don't be black heart. Don't be greedy heart. Don't be cold heart. Don't be too much flower heart. What's it? Hua xin. Wen xin yang, yang xin yin, qi xin qi, huo xin xue, bu neng hei xin, tan xin, han xin. 花心和没心气更完蛋啊！所以呢，心是温通心养，这这是非常 useful therapy. Thank you, everybody. Any question later we can we can discuss. Okay, take my time. It's okay. Yeah. Many thanks to to Dr. Zhao's uh, very informative uh, therapy. I'm I'm really amazed. Uh, so this new therapy. Anyway. Uh, we just have two questions, and if anybody wants uh, more questions, uh, we'll ask Dr. Zhao later on, okay? Okay. 你的这个有效通过的方法是在一个某个特定的突发展阶段还是比如说在过于早期肿瘤化比较局限的时候如果我们大量有效的用了通瘤药的药会不会促进肿瘤的扩散 which means in the beginning we don't use invigorating blood herbs, use fragrance herbs, aromatic herbs as shi xiang, because we cannot use shi xiang now. What I use the ordinary one is su xiao jiu xin wan. Su xiao jiu xin wan is a very ugly taste. Let them put it on the tongue. In the early beginning, don't use like transplant blood herbs. I told them hong hua, yong yong, all this. So, you know, thin blood herbs, beginning, no. After the metastasis, after the later stage, no any problem. In the beginning, don't. You are right. But the mask is a really good medicine. We can get it. We use the Sui Xiao Jiu one. Every patient I have almost cancer patient, give them Sui Xiao Jiu one. So, can I ask you to repeat that name that you say now? Don't you? We know we can't use... Sui Xiao Jiu Xin also, I, I use a lot of external herbs. This kind of patch is all my formulas. We put it outside. There's still a lot of aromatic herbs. Okay. Uh, just one more question. Um, very often, we think of using medicinal mushrooms um, to help boost up the immune system. Having listened to what you're saying, I'm now rather concerned should we be using medicinal mushrooms or not? And if no. so, when? No. No. In the beginning, like the first, uh, in the beginning, latest stage, latest stage, when cancer reaches remission, when we have no cancers, bucinism is good, mushroom is good. When the cancer is there, during chemotherapy, I don't use, what, don't use the mushroom. Especially, mushroom contains so much polyacetylene. It's really a new booster. I really like a new suppressor or a new modulator. That's why I mean many patients you may hear that steroid helps them very much, right? I always puzzle as how come immune, immune steroid help patients? That's immune suppressor. Why have you been separated with that? In China, then we know that's look like in the, our Jiang and our civil war. Why Jiang is lost to the communists? Think of that. That's not a good analogy, I know. For us, it's common, we cannot say common is cancer, but any evil, that's not evil, it's a, it's a force. It's a, why they lost that? Because in, so the use of military is always after the common military. You don't have so much. You don't even have a gun, weapon. You after them, you give them more weapon. Then you use the weapon to kill them. Eventually, they're occupied. You win the, win the battle. Right? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Just 
Thank you. Um, it's more comments than a, a question because in the past uh, 10 years I've been in uh, many countries to join all kinds of uh, international congresses. To be honest, most of the time I go there only for social. And uh, this morning I think that the first uh, uh, session from this congress is really impressive. And, uh, and my impression is uh, in the future, whatever for a TCM community or the international TCM societies, we need to promote this kind of high academic activities, yes. like a Professor Zhao is presenting, instead of uh, uh, develop TCM, what they call it, TCMs, kind of in a too spiritual way. So my, uh, I'm really, really uh, um, happy to have a Professor Zhao here, and also especially um, from his uh, new theory about wake up the mind, the heart, and the immune system. So actually this is a new development of traditional Chinese medicine theory. And also for, not only for herbs, for uh, Chinese acupuncture. Also he mentioning like uh, the clinic applications for the eight confidential points. I think uh, you hardly read this kind of information from any books. So, uh, if you said I have to ask your questions, so this is uh, invitations. So I would like to invite Professor Zhao to be the team of education of uh, our future doctor, master and PhD program to share your experiences with all of us. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Yes, thank you, Dr. Zhao, again. So, yeah, thank if you. there is any more questions, I'm sure there are. Okay, thank you, Dr. Zhao, again. Um, our next speech uh, will be Dr. David Wang from Australia.